Hey, what's up? This is Steve Cardenas, a.k.a. Rocky the Red Power Ranger, and you are watching Gem Mint. What's going on, Geminites? It's your boy, Gem Mint. We're here with today's new comic book day reviews for Wednesday, June 17th. It's kind of a light week, no Marvel stuff this week. We just have some Image Comics, Boom Studios, and DC to hold you over. Before we get started, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, hit that like button, and hit the notification bell so you're made aware every time we release new videos. We drop new videos every day at 11 a.m. Eastern, and we do live streams on Sundays. We're giving away this Supergirl Premium Format exclusive by Sideshow Collectibles once we hit 90,000 subscribers. This is a worldwide giveaway. Stay tuned to the end of the video to see the details on how to enter. Alright guys, this episode is sponsored by ThatSpidermanBooth.com. Those are the guys with the $30 mystery boxes where you get 5 comics of retail value. You can save $10 by using the code GEMMINT at checkout. One of those lucky boxes is going to contain this amazing Spider-Man 300. It's a raw copy, graded at about a near mint minus. It's signed by Stan Lee and Todd McFarlane. And it does have a certificate of authenticity for the Stan Lee SIG. So that's going to be in one of those mystery boxes, and this current box will run from today, Wednesday, until this Saturday. So that's SpidermanBooth.com. Use the code GEMMIN for $10 off. All right, first up from Image, uh, Family Tree Issue 6. This is by Jeff Lemire, Phil Hester, Eric Gapster, and Ryan Cody. I love Family Tree. I think I love everything that Jeff Lemire writes. Uh, very emotional. You're dealing with a lot of family issues in this story. We have the grandfather who's being beaten to a pulp. They're trying to get... The hand of his son, which is nothing but a tree left, uh, and you know we're getting more about like this kind of hive mind consciousness that the tree people are having. You know, kind of touching on the whole are people reverting back to the earth kind of thing. So great issue. I really love Family Tree, and uh, you guys should definitely check that out. The only other book I read from Image this week was Gideon Falls. This was issue 22. Gideon Falls is one of my favorite comics to read right now. I love uh, Jeff Lemire, like I said. You got Andrea Sorrentino, the paneling, the way that each page is just laid out and tells a story. Uh, we also have Dave Stewart on this uh, on this title as well. So, I mean, we're, we're getting into, like, either alternate versions or futuristic versions of Gideon Falls. The priest gets sent forward in time there. And it's kind of like this this era where like you either have cybernetic enhancements or you're not all the way human. You know, when they figure out that he's of pure blood, they're like, what are you doing down here in the slums? You should be over there with the rich folks and things like that. So it's this whole concept of like the barn door opening up like this time rift. We've seen it teased in other issues, but they really... Uh, delve deep into it here you can see by the cover like this kind of gotham city kind of brother eye gideon falls everyone's watching you kind of logo on the buildings i love gideon falls i really can't wait to just binge this thing back to back in a collected edition uh once something comes out maybe like a hardcover or something i think the third volume or fourth volume of the trade paperback comes out today as well all right, we have a lot of series that are ending this week. So the first one we're going to talk about is a personal favorite of mine, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Power Rangers. This is issue five. It concludes the miniseries. And what more could you ask for? A, a grown, blown up Bebop and Rocksteady versus uh, Megazord uh, versus, I don't want to spoil it, but there's some other Zords that come into play here. Uh, it wraps up nicely. I think this was a great miniseries. I think uh, if you're a fan of Turtles or the original Power Rangers like me, you'll absolutely love this. Probably have a trade coming out or something, but uh, it was a nice way to wrap it up. Then we got Joe Hill and Martin Simmons on Dying is Easy, issue 5. I'm pretty sure this is the last issue as well. And it's uh, Joe Hill doing his own title under Boom Studios. So this is um, a Sid Holmes, a.k.a. Shit Talk Holmes uh, ex-cop turned stand-up comic that's trying to clear his name. Uh, he's being framed for a murder. So it's a whodunit murder mystery. And we get some twists and turns at the end. And at the end of the day, it's not who you expected, of course. And it kind of just wraps everything up in a nice little bow there. I did enjoy this. It, it didn't feel like anything else Joe Hill that I'm currently reading. It wasn't really horror-based, which is probably why he didn't do it under DC Black Label. But I liked Dying is Easy either way. All right, next up, picked up Faithless 2, issue number one. This is by Brian Azzarello and Maria uh, Lovett. Is that how you say it? So this is like a, <laughs> an erotic, artsy type of comic, right? So you have right away nudity, sex, masturbation, crazy stuff like that. 
Um, I don't really know where the story is going yet. It seems like it's got a lot of passion, a lot of lust, a lot of open relationship type things with men and women and everything mixed together. So uh, I don't really know where the story is going, but um, it, it was a fast, quick, fun read. It was definitely different from everything else I was reading in my pile. So that's Faithless for you. Then from uh, then the other one we have from Boom Studios by James Tiny in the fourth and Michael Dialanis. I don't know if I'm saying that right. So this is when uh, issue one. This was teased at the end of the last issue of Something Is Killing the Children, and uh, it didn't hook me. Man, I, I really wasn't really digging this one. It didn't feel like anything else that James Tiny is doing. You basically have this little character Wind. He looks kind of like an elf, has pointed ears. Seems to be living in this kind of fairy tale world, like they're in this city that has a big castle. Uh, he works at a diner. He seems to have a thing for like this bulky guy that jogs with his shirt off. And uh, it seems like there's some type of conspiracy to kill the prince, who is the heir to be the king, something like that. But um, it was kind of a big issue, like oversized. But it didn't hook me at all, man. Wasn't really feeling it. Jumping over to DC Black Label, Joe Hill's Daphne Byrne. This is issue five. Also has Laura Marks, Kelly Jones, and Michelle Madsen. So I like that. I like Daphne Byrne. I really like everything that he's doing under his Hill House Comics imprint. It looks like Daphne Byrne finally has a showdown with the ghost that's haunting her. We're kind of getting more information as to like this cult that is brainwashing the mother. So um, this is still ongoing. I, I can't really talk much without spoiling it, but I thought it was interesting. I, I'm digging Daphne Byrne. All right, Superman 22. Uh, this is by Brian Michael Bendis and uh, McGuire and Sinclair. So I can't remember if I was reading Superman issue 21. I just recently been picking up a lot of uh, new DC titles, just jumping on. This is the end of this arc. You have a dope fight with uh, Superman and uh, Mongol. Uh, you have some kind of FBI investigating Lois Lane because recently Superman, or Clark Kent I should say, has come out that he's Superman and he's trying to establish this United Planets foundation where all these planets are united against these threats like mongol who come out and try to you know conquer so i thought it was a dope issue the art was really good in this issue i loved all the superman mongol battle scenes in space and on venus it was a good issue then we got wonder woman 757 who's this by orlando marino sifuentes and farado jr so i read the issue prior to this and i jumped into this um horseman of the apocalypse storyline this is the last issue of it and, you know, I'm glad because that means the next Wonder Woman I'll jump in fresh with a new arc. But you get this final battle. You have uh, Donna Troy, uh, Wonder Woman, and they're fighting this, um, what's the word they use? This Gollum, who kind of looks like a Wonder Woman who laughs. Same kind of Batman who laughs visor, who's being who's being controlled by uh, some other family. I, I don't even, I, I don't remember. I just jumped into this. But, uh, you know, it wraps it up nice <laughs> No, nothing really major happens and now we're going to get a new arc moving forward so i don't know we'll see how i like the new arc because i wasn't really loving these two issues i know i just jumped in in the middle of nowhere but still it wasn't really anything groundbreaking it seems jumped into young justice issue 15 this is also bendis you got walker tims godowski and el Taub. so um you know you would think this is a corny book like like looking at like the names of the kids in this uh in this group, right? Like when it starts off, it tells you you got Teen Lantern, you got Spoiler, Sideways, Arrowette, Aqualad, Impulse, Wonder Girl, Ginny Hex, Amethyst, Wonder Twins. It sounds like it's going to be lame, but yo, it actually was pretty good. And, and you're, we're, we're picking up where, I forget the other title this was, where Connor Kent's trying to figure out who he is. Is he a clone? Which Superboy is he? So we get the reveal here, and it's pretty good. Well, I don't think this was the artwork I was thinking of, but you, this one has nice big panels, super clean artwork. I thought it was really good, man. So, Young Justice, it sounds kind of corny, but it kind of works. All right, guys, and then my pick of the week, the book everybody was probably waiting for, the Scott Snyder, Greg Capullo, Dark Knights, Death Metal 1, and look, nice chromium cover, man. You gotta love the chromium on this. Uh, fun book, very interesting on what's going on here, picking up where uh, Dark Knights Metal left off. You have the Batman who laughs, who is, looks like they're destroying all the 52 Earths and there's only eight left. What can I say without spoiling this? You gotta read it. You gotta read Dark Knight's Death Metal. You have Wonder Woman and 
Hades, which uh, Themyscira is now Hades. Let me let, let's just show the map real quick, right? So you got Themyscira as the hellscape. You got the Castle Bat, which sounds like Gotham. Megapocalypse, which sounds like uh, Metropolis and Apocalypse mixed together. Arkham Wastelands and Fall of Captain Adam. So this is kind of the last hurrah trying to put things back the way they were, right? They, they reference the Dr. Manhattan stuff in here. They really explain like the good and the bad of heroes and villains in comic. And why you have these type of events. You have these different poles. You have like the positive energy and the negative energy. And it, it explains how the Batman who laughs kind of plays a part in that. So they did some good explaining here. Besides having amazing artwork by Greg Capullo. Besides setting up a, an interesting story. Batman doing some badass stuff. The Batman Who Laughs does have some goofy Batman kind of uh, flunkies around with him from different multiverses. That's the only kind of thing I thought was a little, I don't know, out of place here. But otherwise, I think everything else worked in this book. All right, guys, in order to enter this worldwide giveaway, all you need to do is be subscribed to the channel and comment on this video. What I'm going to do is promote this in random videos until we hit 90,000 subscribers. Once we hit that milestone, I'm going to pick a random video and we'll do a random YouTube comment generator during our following live stream. You could be worldwide, any age. All you have to do is be subscribed and comment down below. All right, guys, so that's all the comics for this week. I want to know what your pick of the week was in the comments down below. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to the channel by hitting the gem to the left. If you want to see past new comic book day reviews, hit the playlist to the right. Thanks for watching. Stay minty fresh. Peace.